welcome welcome everyone back to the channel for another video this is q50 beast uh today we're in daily race b again <laughs> we're in the alfard executive lounge 2018 there's been a ton of dirty racers here the past few days and we're gonna see how it's panning out today um, a few days into this race at Monza um, very unlikely vehicles actually these races will be extremely extremely fun um, because they're slow moving uh, vehicles and they take a lot of momentum and you have to get the driving just right uh, for the racing to be good and um, I, I think sometimes these dirty drivers spoil these gem of races that Gran Turismo has come up with. Uh, once again, we're in the Alphard Executive Lounge here at Monza and GT7. Uh, this is Daily Race B. Uh, these are all-wheel drive vehicles right under 300 horsepower. It's a BOP race. Um, just pretty, pretty fun. We qualified yesterday. We're going to use that time today. Uh, and as you see, we got 10 seconds remaining before the race starts and we'll see where we qualify. I believe our, our times gave us anywhere from 6th to 8th place depending on the lobby that we're in. So we'll see what we get today. And it looks like we're in 7th place right now. So um, we'll be pretty much in the middle of the pack. I believe this is a 12 vehicle race. So this is going to be pretty cool. Uh, we see a lot of safety ratings at C's and B's and D's. Uh, mine is not too much better at an A, um, but um, yeah, we'll see what we get. Uh, there's been some 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 crazy videos about this person named Kimmy, whoever that is, um, that is going out and wrecking a lot of people. Um, I've had some some guys or girls or whoever uh, wrecking in my race uh, by the name of Smoke and some other 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 people. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, we get some clean racing and be able to entertain you today so we're going to be here at monza i believe this is a four lap race and uh it's going to be pretty cool uh looks like we're about to begin right now daily race b at monza all right so the excitement is about to begin i hope the audio is good and clear uh, let's see. All right, so that's our Fanatec livery is worth about 47 horsepower. Hoping for a good start. Looks like we got a decent start. Already made up one position. So let's see how the racing goes. All right, so we're we're trending pretty good in uh, sixth place right now. Looks like some smoke, some fighting is going on up there. And we're using the Fanatec DD Pro. Fanatec DD Pro. Okay, some guys are going into the shadow realm and someone wants to run into the side of us. Uh, but that's okay, we expect that. And later on the shift, trying to move the mic out of the way, but we're in fourth place. We survived. We're in fourth place. Looks like we're going to pick up a position there. A brand new pedal set uh, with the DD Pro, and we're squeaking already, so we're going to have to grease that thing up. So if you hear that in the background, it is the accelerator sounding like a squeaky mouse. All right, so that white vehicle uh, looks like a green chair uh, tried to ram us on purpose that way it was pretty evident that that person tried to ram us uh, so we'll see if we can stay clear of that guy came in extremely hot I just got out of a set of Corsa on the Xbox so I'm just trying to get my bearings get the different feel for this game opposed to the other game uh, so maybe a lap or two and I'll be ready to go But right now we're running at a podium position at third place and we'll see if we can hold that and improve upon it oh man you guys can hear that my squeaky pedal huh brand new pedal set squeaking already so we'll get some WD-40 on that thing and uh, get it cleaned up right now hopefully we can get 
uh, to fifth gear, you know you've, you've, you've come out of that last turn pretty well if you can get the vehicle into fifth gear before uh, you brake for that turn one. It looks like we're running by ourselves now, so we can run some kind of a clean rate, uh, laps. Uh, but you want to run with someone to get into the slip so you can kind of get away from everyone. So I would imagine the car or van behind us is going to be able to catch us here pretty soon if he gets some help from a racer behind him. Uh, but the weight feels real good on this wheel. The DD Pro really, really makes a difference coming from the T150. Uh, we can really, really tell a difference. Still a little hot there. Not a little, a lot hot. So uh, we're going to have to clean that up. Uh, as you see, we just lost a position there, and that was totally my fault. We'll see if we can get around a green chair if, if he or she doesn't try to ram us in doing so. So a green chair was a little hot himself. So we're able to pick that position back up and we hopefully we don't make any more mistakes. Uh, this is a four lap race. We're in the middle of the, the second lap. So we just need to hold on. So he's behind us now. So he'll be in the slip and he'll have a chance to pass us on the straight. A little bit better on our braking that time. And it looks like we still have a little bit of distance, but we got some company now, so we need to run clean. Um, and hopefully they fight each other and they, they slow up a little bit. <laughs> uh, that will really help us out here a lot. Down to third gear. Easy, try to straighten up the wheel. As soon as you get the wheel slippage, you will lose the momentum. You don't want to lose any momentum ran out third gear just a little bit too long hopefully it didn't hurt us much so we'll try to get out of the slip if we can he's gonna follow us and that is fine he that's exactly what he's supposed to do so we'll get back into our normal race line and he probably will go for a move here so we'll take the inside away from him because I know that's what he wants and we'll just ease right back to where we want to be we're in fifth gear. He being in the slip actually helped help me get that extra one or two mile per hour to get to fifth gear, which is cool. So now we got to see what he's going to do, if he's going to run through us or what. Looked like we fared pretty well there. Should have ran second gear a little bit deeper, but that's fine. We were able to hold position and looks like we ran that pretty well and we look like second place is getting a little bit closer to us a little bit of wheel slippage but I'll take that uh, that was pretty cool um, pretty quick through that turn there so hopefully this guy will keep working with us and not against us and then we will save the the shenanigans for the last uh, few meters hundred meters Hard on the brake. I think we spooked him a little bit. I heard a lot of wheel spin or slippage from him. So we'll see. We'll see. We just got to run clean. Got to run clean. We're about to enter the final lap. Right now we're in podium position. We really want to get podium here. Don't want him to bump draft me here right at the end because I don't want him to speed up my van. And he made made a good pass. He made a really good pass, but I think we can work on the second place van if I can get right behind him. And looks like we, we may be able to make a move here if, if we can catch up. He, he did a really, really good job on that final turn. Really, really good racing. And if you're here, thank you for joining us. We appreciate you being here. Hopefully we're entertaining you. And uh, looks like we're going to have a, a really good race for second place.
here it looks like we're getting a little bit closer in the slip which is helping us I got a little loose there and it looks like both of them ran off and it looks like we're in second place let's see if we can hold this thing down more than likely we will not get first but let's see if we can hold second place and just run a clean lap the weight of this van is really heavy you can really feel it in the wheel I love the detail love the detail a little bit of wheel slippage but we saved it and if we can just get through the last chicane here we should be good to go and not run too wide on that last turn and we should be good to go here at Monza for a podium finish at second place. So let's see if we can hold it. Looks like we got a lot of space, no need to rush. We can be safe, take our time here, making sure we don't make any mistakes, but not lose too much momentum because these vans are pretty slow and you gotta keep that momentum up as high as possible. Make sure we get our shift. Looks like we got space. We should be good to go. The Fanatec DD livery has come through again with the extra 47 horsepower. The extra 47 horsepower. Down to third. And we got wheel slippage. And we are going a little bit wide. Let's see. We still got space. They are fighting big time. Somebody is really wild back there. And we should be able to hold on to the second place finish here at Monza Daily Race B. There we go. Second place. Good running. Uh, there was no shenanigans there. Uh, we had one guy that tried to, you know, ram into me uh, right in the beginning of the race. We got around him, away from him. A green chair. He en ended up finishing last anyway. Um, but that was a pretty good race. There was, there was everyone trying to win the race opposed to ramming each other and that's exactly how it's supposed to be uh, we need Gran Turismo to crack down on those rammers and get those people out of the races because they're literally ruining races for people um, this is supposed to be fun and we actually had fun I know I had fun in this race didn't win it came in second but hey it was fun really really good racing all right so thank you everyone for joining uh, this is just a quick little video to talk about Daily Race B and, and how things are going in that. And I was proven wrong with this race as we had some really, really good racing. So I hope you were entertained. We appreciate you being here. Uh, peace out. This is Q50 Beast.